Well, I made it out here, guys. It's 45 degrees. My uh, stomach is rumbling. It's wheezy. I'm going to go at this as I can. My blood pressure seems to be okay. But uh, right now, I'm going to clean the, uh, the nice mouse nest out of there. Doesn't that look so soft with the mice just to sleep in? M-I-C-K-E-Y M-O-U-S-E Don't say dental duck. <laughs> Mickey Mouse is in there doing stuff. Probably ruining the coil so the engine doesn't turn. Ooh, that's got good compression. Oh, it's a Tecumseh. I don't even remember. It's been so long how this fuel pump hooks up. But we're probably going to phase out this fuel pump and get a new one. If I remember how it goes on there. I don't know how to make this run. I really don't. All comes the carburation and uh and spark and gas. So I don't even know if the starter works. I have to get a starter. I, I tried to, to jump the key with this battery uh, with the jump pack and start it, and it wouldn't turn over. Maybe because the engine was locked out with mouse nuggets. But I do have a good battery I bought. It's either for the Craftsman or it's either going to be for this. I got a deal on it. I signed up for a tractor supply uh, a charge card. And they gave me $20 off. So I got a battery, which is cool. Hopefully you can see me okay. But, uh, I'm going to... I got a new can of PB Blaster. Have you seen these new cans? They got the straw right attached to it, which is good. So the, uh, uh, the old triggers would fall off or get ruined. I had that happen on my big candy PB blaster. I have to pull a trigger off of one of these carburetor cleaners that are just kicking around. You know you got a, a problem with hoarding when you got one, two, three, four, five, six carburetor cleaners and here's the new one. I gotta go through these carburetor cleaners and find out what still works and throw them out when it warms up. But uh and there's the mighty snapper blocked off by my snapper chair that the the neighbor made me. My neighbor, he's so nice. He's like, I got all this wood over here. Can I borrow your sauce? Can you make me a chair? Sure. This is people say these engines are junk. We never had a problem with it. I don't know if you guys remember when it was like running on choke and it it was playing a uh, Van Halen's Hot for Teacher with the with the engine beat. Kind of funny. But uh, let's set the camera up, get this mouse nest out of here. Try to take this carburetor off. Man, this thing is heavy. It is really heavy. I have no idea how this carburetor comes off. I'm going to try and see. Might be best just taking it off from the engine. If I can even do that if you can even see where the shits are and bits are but I'm gonna spray some PB blaster on the uh, carburetor screws and try to take that carburetor off and clean it on my bench outside it's such a beautiful day out the sun shining 45 degrees it's supposed to reach 63 I don't see it doing that um, there's the uh, push mower I was using last year it still works good I took the uh, carburetor off of another one and put another one sorry I'm just rambling here you get the point let's get taking the mouse that's out of this and taking the uh, carburetor off of this I'll show you how this comes off you probably know anyways if you worked on these before there's a, a bolt right there and then there's one in there where you can't see because it's too dark Maybe I should turn the light but we're jamming the Mickey Mouse nest this now. And it's been a while since I've been out here and my batteries are getting ready to, to bite the dust. Do, do, do. Another one bites the dust. Alright, maybe they'll stay good and fresh. If not, I'll go in the house and get more batteries. But I'll just see what I can do. I may have to stop it when I take the carburetor off. But maybe I should just stop it all together. Um, I'm right handed. I probably should use. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Of course, this bag is blowing from the wind. Mmm, it's 
scrumptious. Oh, there's no mousies in there. Of course, it just went on my shoes. How nice. Oh, what's that even? Oh, this is gross. You can feel the mouse pee on it. And I have to take my uh, dryer and blow it out of there. That's good enough for now. I got a, a macho dryer I used to use to blow dry the dogs and it got kind of old and I got a new one and it still works guys so I just use it to blow out mousy nests. This is really far from starting. It's going to take a lot of my time and I'm going to take my time with it. I'm not going to hurt myself working on it and drive myself nuts. But I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to take the carburetor off. Uh, I don't know. I want to show you me taking the carburetor off. I think the batteries will last. I'm going to take these things off it. But if it even matters, take the filter out. Well, of course, it's got nuts on it, because I'm nuts. That's a good way to come to do stuff. Don't have a filter that slides out or twists off. Huh. Let's see if this wrench will hook up to it. No, nope, I need a deep socket. Huh. I didn't hear that. Barking spiders. Jeez, I'm gassy. Call me gassy lassie. Oh, stinks, Jesus. Holy God, it sounds like... I don't know if that's the mice that stink or me. Phew! I think you don't have smell vision on the camera. And, huh, socket which I don't have. That's, oh, it's already loose. Look at that. No one's been in this before. How nice. I would spray carburetor cleaner in this if I had it hooked up, try to start it, but it's far from that. We still on at home. Oh, I shouldn't be touching that with my hand. Push that hand sanitizer out here. Well, that thing popped. Now what you want to do is so you don't lose these. Put them on top of the engine to fall inside there. That's a good idea. I got a soda bottle collection in here. As it became winter last year, and we didn't take them back. I got cold, and they had the bottle machines outside at the store I go to now to take them back. Of course, my eye itches now, and it just touched rat nest. Oh, that thing's chewed up. This thing's going to need a new filter, probably. Why'd I take that off there? I'm going to just leave it on there. I and leave this loose. Because I don't want anything to fall inside the carburetor that shut it from that mouse nest. I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to attempt to take these bolts off from the carburetor and I'll be damned if I remember how it goes back on there so I better take a picture of the camera ever find stuff in your garage you forget about the seat is so soft and comfortable so I'm gonna sit on the floor with it guys bye right now I'm taking this box off right here now guys.
this air box assembly. There's a screw over there that comes out. I took out our bolt. My batteries are getting ready to go kaput. But uh, i trying to get that carburetor off here with the uh, vice grips because those. Guys, we got uh, dogs enjoying the sunshine, playing outside, the neighbors. I can't get those two bolts out of there. I pulled whatever the hell this pin thing is off with my vice grips. And it's got some kind of pulse jet pump thing on there. And the uh, the float looks good. It looks clean inside. It doesn't have any ethanol problems. So maybe I didn't need to take this apart and when it ran. Go figure. The guy said it it did run but it's been setting. So maybe uh, uh, what do you think of that? I'll send this to the the comps uh, uh website and get some help if they'll help me. I'll send it to my uh friend Blake that's worked on these before. But I'm going to stop it here. I'm just going to put this back on here. So I don't want to lose it. I'm trying here, guys. I'm trying to get a good look at my... Uh... This has got some kind of fuel pump thing on there's some gasket thing I've never seen anything like this before go figure to come so it's got an oil filter on there that'll probably never come off it's got all these buttons and shit down there I don't know what they fucking do I was uh, uh, advised by my friend Blake on Facebook to uh, get a tachometer Make sure the voltage is measuring right with the RPMs on this thing so I don't use them. And this thing, I think that hooks to your house electric right there. And it's just a plug in like tools and things and stuff. I'll try. I don't know much about it. I gotta get some help, but I'll try. And I'm gonna end it here, guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, take care. Peace. See you in the next one. Bye. See what we got out here and it's like 50 degrees and it's fun. It's fun out here in the garage working with you guys. I had a lot of fun doing this. Even if it was, if it was a short video. I tried. I used to spray PB Blaster into the uh, plug holes to see what that does. <laughs> well, it's running. We'll try that. It's got a simple little choke on there. The choke works. So maybe if I buy this gasket thing here, I don't know. This carburetor is not coming off here anytime soon. I tried saving PB Blaster on it, and I, I tried grabbing on to to that with uh, vice grips, guys. But uh, I'm gonna end it here. I had enough of this pure junks a thing. But you guys that work, I know what you're doing, and you have good luck with them. And never have much luck with your comps. Peace, guys. Love you. Bye. It's gonna work. I lost the straw thing on the floor. I can't find it on this dirt floor. Can't even see anything that holds that gasket on there now. I found it, guys. It was a bigger piece than I thought. I found it. I'm happy. So maybe this thing. I just saved myself probably ten dollars for that piece of twenty, knowing these rare, rare to come so parts. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go in the house and have some lunch, turkey sandwich, and eat my broccoli to flush my system out. <laughs> That's why I got broccoli farts, guys. Harbor Freight, engine, 212cc, dun dun dun, next thing to work on after the generator, dun dun dun, dun 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 dun, 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 dun,